New at 11, whipping wind causing down trees, power outages and damage around the state. Those winds dying down tonight, but recovering from the mess they caused could last for days. We're glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. Today's gusty wind even proved deadly for at least one person in Connecticut. News 8's Bob Wilson joins us live tonight with that story. Bob. You know, it's unusual because we've seen stronger winds. However, this time around, it was the consistency, and it might have shook a lot of those trees loose that were uh, trying to survive over the winter. Cold Arctic blasts, sustained winds, swirling, whipping gusts. Mother Nature beat on Connecticut from border to border. This morning, tree branches dropped live power lines onto an Amtrak train heading from Boston to Washington, D.C. Travelers stuck in New Haven for hours. Others stranded and delayed all up and down the Northeast Corridor. They told us they had a detour coming. The, they were, uh, the wire was out, and we had to uh, jump on another train to be able to get the connection. Back on the train, the live electric lines popped and cracked and hissed, even burning a metal pole on a nearby fence. But when there was a lot of smoldering, so our firefighters did a really good job of just, you know, keeping people back. We're always taught to respect electricity. We, we, don't, we don't rush in when electricity is involved. And tonight, OSHA is investigating this accident here on Route 2 at Interstate 84, where this backhoe flipped off the overpass. The driver was ejected through the windshield and landed down below on the pavement. He was taken to Hartford Hospital and pronounced dead. Now, in the investigation, they're saying wind most likely did not cause this accident. However, they're not ruling it out as they're still putting all the pieces together. However, wind is to blame for a death over in Avon. A school bus driver killed when wind blew a tree down on the cab of his bus. Like in all the hurricanes and stuff, it would sway in the wind, everything. So I just knew it was going to happen. A giant tree crashed to the ground, taking out wires blocking traffic in Old Lyme, a scene that was played out across Connecticut. At the height of the windstorm, more than a quarter of electric customers in Naugatuck were without power. And crews are working quickly to restore the power, but the strong winds making it dangerous for them to go up into the buckets, which also delays repairs. Now, state police have released the identity of the man that was killed in the backhoe. He's 60 years old from Bethlehem, Connecticut. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.